So today I'm going to talk about inspiration. Where do you get your inspiration from? Sometimes my inspiration comes from that pup back there. <laughs> and a lot of laughter as well. But I don't watch very much TV. But last night I wanted to watch the ESPYs. Now, for some of you folks, you may not have a clue as to what the ESPYs are. It's an award show. And it's kind of like the Oscars, but for sports. And this year has been some amazing things that have happened in the sports world. And so I definitely wanted to catch it. Also had some, you know, insights. They always say, this person's going to talk, this person's going to talk. Uh, <clears throat> the ending was amazing. It was late, but it, I didn't matter. It didn't matter to me. It was the inspiration that came from that television show that has carried over into my day today. One of the things that was absolutely amazing on that show was an acceptance speech by Jim Kelly. Now, probably not too many of you know who Jim Kelly is, but he is an individual that played for years in America football. He was a quarterback, but he was also a quarterback in life. The way he showed up in life was just phenomenal. He had a son that had a rare disease that was not supposed to live past 14 months. And his son actually made history by living eight years through this disease. He could never talk. Uh, this, this son, this was Jim Kelly's son. There's something about dads. They just, they love having sons. <laughs> And Jim Kelly already had two daughters, and so it was like, wow, this is the son I've always wanted to have. But he couldn't even communicate with Jim. But this entire family just, oh, so much love for that child. And the foundations that were created from, the foundation that was created from that to help other children with that disease as well and their families uh, going through it. And his speech also came from a place of someone who has survived three rounds of cancer. He is battling a cancer that he has in his jaw. And during the speech, you'll be able to see that his speech is not what we would think is perfect. <laughs> what was it about the sound of the speech? It was the inspiration that was coming from his voice. He talked about his dad, who when they were young and they were playing, you know, peewee football, which is like little kids football. And his dad would, they would fall down and they would cry and dad would say, get up, you'll be okay. And that was the resonance of that speech. That was what that what he talked about. That's how he has battled cancer. Just get up. I'll be okay. Just get up. I'll be okay. And he has been. And he stood on that stage in front of the audience, the live audience, in addition to everybody watching on TV, and talked about whatever you're battling through, whatever you're needing to push through. Just get up when you fall down. Get up. It'll be okay. You'll be okay. What an inspiring speech. It's on YouTube. You can go and research it. Jim Kelly's speech. Uh, it's trending all over social media. Uh, I'll be posting it on my Facebook page as well. Just, just an inspiration. And then to close out with something that was near and dear to my heart. Not because I've lived through what some of those women have lived through. But I've always had a love for gymnastics. Uh, when I was in school, <laughs> not only did I was on the swim team, I was also on the gymnastics team. 
and it was something that uh, where I grew up gymnastics was really big here in Texas it's football where I grew up in New Mexico it was gymnastics that was the big sport of the state so it was something near and dear to my heart and here in the United States we had a situation where there was a gymnastics physician that assisted uh, with his expertise, his medical expertise, to uh, several, several hundreds of uh, gymnastics, women's gymnastics teams, uh, clubs here in the United States, and he abused those children, those young women. And because of the way society treated it back then, it was just in their imagination. They, whenever they would say anything about it, it was pushed aside, it was swept under the carpet. And finally, finally, people started listening. And these women had a voice. Some of you may have heard the story. Hundreds of women, children were abused by this man and it is amazing how they stood on stage in this huge environment this huge platform they stood strong they stood together holding hands three women spoke and just poured out their hearts poured out how grateful they were to the prosecutors, to the judge who gave them the platform to speak. This man uh, will be incarcerated for life. And they are grateful that justice has now been served in regards to this. And to see those women stand there in their power, knowing that now their voices have been heard so inspiring so inspiring if you have a chance that's their speeches are on youtube as well check it out if you want a dose of inspiration today really just google espies the women's speech jim kelly's speech go and have an inspiring day inspire others as those folks have absolutely inspired me today. And I hope, I hope in some way, along this journey, I can inspire you as well. Uplift others. Inspire others. And we can change. We can change the world together. Have a great day. This is Patty signing off. Oh, and Timba back there too. Timba, Papa. <gasps> There you are, Papa. There you are. She's like, how come you're not giving me treats? Have a great one. Love you all.